tell me about the first song you ever wrote and when it was and, and how old you were and what it was about. David, how about you? Do you remember your first one? I do. I do. I, my dad was a cinematographer and made films. And so I thought originally, well, I've got an in there. I'll get to be an actor, mainly because of girls. Uh, that was sort of my main motivation in life at that point. Makes all the good sense. But then I went, <laughs> I went down to the coffee house and I sang and I realized I loved singing. And so I, uh, I, the first song I wrote, I was following a, a, a there was a, a folk duo called Bud and Travis and Travis Edmondson, one of the two guys. They had split up and he was playing at a coffee house in, in Hollywood and I was sort of sitting there hawking his changes, you know, I'd go there at night and sneak in watch how he played the guitar, figure out how he was doing what he was doing, because he was pretty good at it. And I wrote a song for him, and he recorded it right away, and it was terrible. Your first song got cut. That's pretty cut, good. Cut, <laughs> yeah. immediately, and it was real good. And, which is even worse, because it's, it's down on a record. Uh, I don't think I wrote a song that I, that I would have played for any of you until uh, I was in The Birds. I wrote one called uh, Everybody's Been Burned. That was the first decent song I wrote. Mm -hmm. But before that, there were several absolute crap songs. There's no question. <laughs> After that, all genius. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were you, I mean, as, as a writer, I mean, I know I'm, I'm certainly this way, really hard on yourself and hard on your songs, like harder than you would be on other people's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, your ego's involved. You sure. want to be good. Yeah. And, yeah. and in the bands that I was in, not now, I'm in a cooperative band now, but I was in a very competitive band. Mm -hmm. So we were always trying to top each other, man. Yeah. We were frantically trying to, yeah. to you know, make the songs be as good as we possibly could. Did that make the songs better than in your cooperative situation? Uh, I think cooperative works better than, comp than, than, you know, I think collaborative works better than competitive. Mm -hmm. C competitive winds up at war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> collaborative winds up at a symphony orchestra. When I was a little kid, I saw a symphony orchestra, and it stuck in me that the power of the whole thing was all those elbows moving at the same time. I got the picture that it was big because all those people were cooperating to mm -hmm. make a one thing. That really stuck in me. David, tell me about getting involved with Little Pink House, uh, how you first got involved and how the song sort of came to you? It's a very odd circumstance. I, I actually wrote the song before I, they made the movie. Yeah. And here's how it happened. Uh, There's a woman in, I think it's Connecticut. She had a house. It was her house. It was her biggest deal in her life. She was a nurse, very plain, ordinary little woman. She loved this house dearly. She painted it pink. There is a thing called eminent domain, mm -hmm. where towns can take stuff for supposedly the common good. It's misused every time that they use it. It's always somebody getting paid under the table to take public land and give it to somebody wrongly. Every time. That's how it gets used. That's what happened here. They took our house away from her to, to make a uh, shopping center or something. And they never even used it. She fought it all the way to the Supreme Court, passionately, and lost. And they bulldozed the house. A friend of mine wrote a book about it, uh, Jeff Benedict. And I loved the book. It was a very emotional book. She's a very brave woman. And uh, he called me up one day and said, listen, they want to make a movie about it. Would you consider writing a song? And I said, boy, I'd love to write a song about that. So I went to my son, James Raymond, who is one of my main writing partners, a uh, brilliant musician. And we sat down and we wrote that song. And uh, it works. I wish they'd used it inside the film instead of it over the credits at the end. I, I, I think it would have been even stronger. But for me, it was a great experience. This, this really felt like creating something you know, correctly. I, I, went, I, I felt good about the whole thing, the entire process. I loved it. Everyone, because I'm sure you guys always get this question, like, what's the process? Like, because I think people who don't write songs are fascinated with how they get written. First, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was, I think that too. Like, I, like I could ask you how you made a movie all day, because it seems like mm -hmm. magic to me. But, you know, it literally, like, does every song not come from the most bizarre place? Like, it's just. Yeah. Hey, here's the best note anybody ever gave me about writing lyrics. Mitchell, 
damn her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For being so good. She was my only for about a year, and uh, I produced her first record, and, uh, and I love her. I still love her. You mentioned that a few times before I mentioned it a couple cameras times. came on. <laughs> a couple, cu couple times. Well, I can't help it. I think she's a brilliant singer-songwriter. Right. She told me a great thing. She said, write that down. I said, write what down? She said, what you just said. I said, what did I just say? She said, something good. You do that all the time. You compose something with some words, and it's really good, and you don't remember it. If you don't write it down, it didn't happen. Click. If you don't write it down, mm -hmm. it didn't happen. Thank you, Joni. Because then I started writing it down. If I get four words in a row I like, I write them down. Because later, you go back and you, oh, wait a minute. Then it could go, and you, yeah. you got a spark. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's Kesha. Hey, I'm Mark Ronson. I'm David Crosby. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Songwriter Roundtable. Songwriter Roundtable on Pirate Bay. I mean, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>